The most important question nowadays in automation technologies is how to protect the automation systems before cybersecurity attacks. My name is Markus Wöhl and I'm responsible at VDEC for our International Business Development Department. Today's security is not good enough. Building larger fortresses using traditional technologies is not the right approach to defend against today's accelerating frequency, scale and sophistication of cybersecurity attacks. Our solution EMART takes a radically different approach to protect data and systems critical to your operations, constituents and your reputation. Since automation systems are more and more connected to the office world and to the web, new threats are on the plate of automation engineers. Let's have a look into the classic automation architectures. There you will find PLCs and DCS systems. From the moment when the OT world is connected to SCADA and MES systems and further on to the office world, Wi-Fi, and of course to the web, it is clear that there have to be firewalls and antivirus programs. There are a lot of devices which are used in this infrastructure, like USB sticks, smartphones or tablet computers. How can you ensure that these devices are totally free from any malware? It is a fact that this is impossible. All of these devices are possibly to be an attack vector to your OT network. To, to underline this, I like to describe a typical attack scenario of an advanced persistent threat called APT. The first infection comes, for example, by email, and after the receiver's computer or smartphone is infected, the virus starts to break into other local accounts on the device, and later on it spreads out to other connected devices or servers. The APT starts collecting data and share it with his command and control cell somewhere in the web, and then at a certain time, the APT can start executing aggressive malware to destroy systems. What do you think is the typical time between the first infection and the detection of this APT? The German Federal Office of Information Security estimates this time approximately about 220 days. So there are probably activities in your OT network which you don't know and even haven't recognized them. The message is clear. There's a tool needed which monitors continuously the network activities, and we call this tool IRMA. IRMA is an acronym for Industry Risk Management Automation. This means IRMA is a totally designed for the implementation in automation networks, especially and designed for industrial environments. IRMA includes a risk management based on the identified IT assets and IRMA works passively in the, and automatically. The only thing IRMA needs to ensure your automation network is a mirror port on your switch. By this mirror port, IRMA identifies all IT assets and the connection between these IT assets. So, the IRMA process contains four major steps. First, we identify all the Ethernet IT assets in the automation network. Additionally, we recognize the connection of these IT assets among each other and over which ports they are communicating. Because you can only protect what you know. For the visibility, you can group and manage the IT assets. The second step contains the inbuilt risk management, where you have a look on the weaknesses and threats and plan your actions and the, uh, reporting on these actions. With the knowledge of, the, uh, of your automation IT infrastructure, IRMA figures out in the third step there, uh, if there are new IT assets in the network which you haven't built in, or if your IT assets communicating aside their normal communication profile. For example, a printer starts doing port scans over the entire network, what he normally does not do, or a PLC starts exchange data with an IP address outside of your country and even outside of your company. Last but not least, a major feature is that IRMA remains passively in your network to perform a continuously variance analysis and generate an alarm if strange and unknown things go on in your automation network. With this architecture, you are able to create your own ISMS which fits to your needs of your company. First, you need to set up your scope. Then, you can use IRMA to identify all your IT assets in your automation network without the use of SNMP or other protocols because this may harm your automation infrastructure. IRMA contains as well a tool to create a network map 
based on the recorded data. Based on the IT assets, you can perform a risk analysis in the depth that, you fit, uh, that fits to your needs and plan the actions. All these steps can be reported in different ways. EMR can as well document the planned actions and track where they are in progress. And of course, EMR recognizes anomalies and is able to alarm those of your IT department or to your external partners. Let's have a short look on EMR itself. EMR is a combination of hardware, even bigger one, and a, a hardened operating system. The management console gives you a good overview of the actual status of your automation network. If you'd like to see more of the use of IMA, please don't hesitate to send a short email to info at vdec.de. We will send you a linked list of hidden YouTube videos where you will get a deeper insight and, of course, some screen cams. So, as a conclusion with IMA, you will increase your level of OT network and IT security by recognizing anomalies in your OT network and a clear visualization of your industrial IT infrastructure without the specific IT knowledge at your stuff. EMA helps in achieving the most substantial regulation standards in your company or defined by industrial sectors. And EMA is intuitive to use with a very deep knowledge of IT security. EMA is the perfect tool to monitor passively your entire OT network and alarms at all times if anomalies take part in your architecture. So be prepared before it's too late. So thank you for watching this introduction. With more than 25 years of experience, we deliver software for automation. If you need further information, please don't hesitate to contact me directly by phone under 0049 421 or send me an email to mwohl at vdec.de. Please use also our YouTube web channel, VDEC Software for Automation, and follow me on Twitter. So once again, thank you for your time, and I hope to hear from you soon.